हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू फेयर्स क्लाउड लर्न टू लीड दिस इज आशु एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ऑफ सेप्टेंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन यू कैन सी टू बेस्ट इमेजेस ऑफ द डे बट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स बट आई एम रिक्वेस्टिंग यू ऑल द स्टूडेंट यू कैन डाउनलोड अर एप्लीकेशन करियर्स क्लाउड फ्रॉम द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स लिंक आफ्टर दैट यू कैन लॉग इन विद ई मेल आई डी देन क्लिक ऑन दिस क्रैक करंट अफेयर सेक्शन टू सब्सक्राइब अ करंट अफेयर्स फॉर वन ईयर एज वेल एज फॉर टू ईयर both the subscription prices are very much low but we are providing 90 to 95% of that current fair which can come in every type of exam this is the hard work of a fair cloud team but how we are covering this current fair we are providing you daily section in the daily section you will see three things one is detail second question and answer format third is the quiz section which you can attempt on our application on daily basis next is the weekly section again we are providing you three things one is detail second question and answer format and third is the quiz section which you can attempt on our application on weekly basis the most important section is the monthly and we are providing four type of pdfs one is detail second question and answer format best 100 current fair and fourth one is the pocket pdf which means the two liner and the three liners current fair will be provided to you so that you can revise these current fairs in quick format before your exam but to enhance your performance further we are also providing topic wise current fair and we are covering 20 most important topics which are very important for every type of exam if you want to revise topic particular topic then you can use this topic wise current fairs and if you are a banking student we are providing three things one is the detail second is question and answer format third is the quiz section but all these three things only related to banking and economy and you can attempt this quiz on our application on monthly basis if you are a uh, student and you want to cover all the past current fair of 2021 just from single pdf then you can use this exam pdf and if you want to cover budget and economic survey we are providing these three things uh, under the special current fair section and we are also providing expected question and answer which are related to budget and economic survey and if you are preparing for your respective state exam we are also covering state current fairs and we are covering every state and union territory so all these things comes under only one subscription you have to just download our application careers cloud you have to log in with the email id you have to click on this crack current fair section then you can subscribe these current fairs for one year as well as for two year both the both the subscription prices are very much low but if you are a new student you are just starting your preparation then i am advising you to subscribe for two years and on both subscription we are providing 10% extra discount if you use this code ash10 if you have any query you can email us on this email id or you can call us on this number so let's start today's current fair that is 22nd of september 2021 but i am requesting you all the students that you have to like this video you have to share this video and you have to subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform even you can join our telegram channel for official notifications from the description of link here is the first question in the most important section which of the following is the official motto of winter olympic and the para olympic games 2022 so recently we completed 2020 tokyo olympics that were the summer olympics but we are now talking about winter olympics and the para olympic games of 2022 which will be hosted by beijing it means i am talking about china and the theme or you can say main official motto of this game is together for a shared future so remember answer of this question is d and uh, what was the motto of the summer olympics summer olympics motto was faster higher stronger and together together word was uh, added later on but earlier the motto was faster higher stronger and together so you have to remember this this is very important and you can see here together for a shared future unveiled as a motto for the beijing 2022 and you can also remember that 2022 beijing winter olympic games mascot so if we are talking about uh, like olympic uh, not paralympic then the mascot is uh, bing duan duan uh, it is basically a panda bing means ice duan means duan duan means cute so uh, you can remember it is a panda very cute panda you can see here the picture this is this is bing duan duan and you can also see here the para olympic games mascot is a shuai rohan rohan it is a chinese lantern and you can also see here this is the motto of or uh, you can say uh, is a symbol of uh, para olympic game this is the symbol of uh, olympic games winter olympic winter para olympic so you have to remember both uh, the mascots because these are very very important and the motto highlights unity and a collective effort embodying uh, the core values and the vision of the olympic movement and the aim of pursuing world unity peace and progress as well as the vision of the paralympic games and you can remember this uh, beijing winter olympic games uh, will be held in february month of 2022 and this paralympic games will be held in march 2022 
March 2022 and hosting uh, city is uh, Beijing and the hosting country is China. And this is the 24th Winter Olympics. You can also remember this is 24th Winter Olympics. Now we are moving to next question. Recently maritime exercise Samundar Shakti was held in between India and which country? So this is the third edition of bilateral exercise uh, known as Samundar Shakti. And this is the exercise between India and Indonesia. So answer of this question is B. So you can see here, Indian Navy arrives in the Indonesia to participate in the third exercise which is known as Samundar Shakti. So it is a bilateral maritime exercise formed in pursuance of the India's Act East policy to strengthen the bilateral relationship between the two nations like India and Indonesia navies and enhance their mutual understanding and interoperability in the maritime operation. And from Indian side, two ships represented, one is the Shivalik and Kadmat and both ships participate in the bilateral exercise and arrived at Jakarta. So uh, you can see here, this is the area where this exercise happened. This is known as Sunda Strait and uh, this is in between Java Island and the Sumatra Island of the Indonesia. So you have to remember where is Sunda state? It is a geography most important question, one of the very important state. Sunda state is in between Java and the Sumatra. But you can also remember here uh, Nepal. Nepal Surya Kiran exercise recently happened. Surya Kiran exercise. It was happened in Uttarakhand. So you can remember this also. We uh, discussed this question yesterday. Thailand, very important exercise and this is known as Sit Max. Sit Max. Sitmax is basically not only in between India and Thailand, it is in India, uh, Singapore and Thailand. So it is a trilateral exercise, trilateral exercise. And there is one exercise which was happened in 2019 between India and Thailand, it was Metri. It was Metri. You can also remember, but it was happened in 2019. Metri in only in between India and Thailand. United Kingdom, very famous exercise that is Ajay Varier. Ajay Varier. And uh, this was also happened in 2020 and uh, it is in between India and United Kingdom. So remember all these exercises. Now we are moving to the next question. Which state topped in the third state food safety index 2020-21 under the larger state category? Because there are three categories. One is the larger state. Second is you can say smaller state. And third one is the UT category. UT category. So in the larger state, it is topped by Gujarat. So answer of this question is A. So we are talking about larger state than it is Gujarat. If we are talking about smaller state than it is Goa. If we are talking about UTs than it is Jammu and Kashmir. So remember all these three top states in the category of larger state, smaller state and the union territory. And you can also remember that this uh, state food index, safety index is prepared by a very important organization which is known as FASAI. So you can also remember this. So this index is released by Shri Mansuk Mandaviyaji, who is currently the Union Minister of Health and uh, he released this third state food safety index. And this is prepared by FASAI, Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, who is providing licensing to the food authorities. And Goa stood first in the smaller states, you can remember, and Jammu and Kashmir grabbed the top spot in the UTs. And you can also remember uh, the second rank in the larger state, second rank goes to, second rank goes to Kerala. Second rank goes to Kerala and third goes to Tamil Nadu and even the least rank it means the bottom state is Bihar. Bihar is the bottom state in the larger state category and in the smaller state second rank goes to Meghalaya. Meghalaya first goes to Goa. In UTs second rank goes to Andaman and Nicobar. So you can just remember the first two. In the larger state Gujarat and Kerala. In smaller state Goa and Meghalaya. In UTs it is Jammu and Kashmir and Andaman and Nicobar. So total five parameters are basically uh, checked so that they can prepare this index. Five parameters of food safety are like human resources, compliance, food testing, training and capacity building and consumer empowerment. So these are the five indicators on the basis of this index was prepared. So you can remember this and remember about Mansukh Mandaviyaji and he is currently the member of Rajya Sabha from Gujarat. Moving to next section, it is a very important question section. You have to like this video, share this video and subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform and you can also join a telegram channel from the description box for official notifications. Who has been appointed as the new chief technological officer of the Reserve Bank Innovation Hub? So very important because Reserve Bank of India established this Reserve Bank Innovation Hub in 2020 to promote innovation across the financial sector using technology and creating an environment to facilitate and foster innovation. So that's why this Reserve Bank Innovation Hub was very important, especially in 2020 because it was created by RB in 2020. And who was appointed as the 
न्यू चीफ टेक्निकल ऑफिसर ऑफ दिस रिजर्व बैंक इनोवेशन हब आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज अमित सक्सेना यू कैन ऑल्सो सी हेयर द पिक्चर ऑफ अमित सक्सेना सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इवन यू कैन से एंड दिस रिजर्व बैंक इनोवेशन हब इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज यू कैन ऑल्सो सी हेयर राजेश बांसल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नेम बिकॉज ही इज करेंटली द सी ई ओ ऑफ दिस रिजर्व बैंक इनोवेशन हब रिजर्व बैंक इनोवेशन हब सी ईओ इज राजेश बांसल सेनापति क्रिस गोपाल कृष्णन ही वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज द फर्स्ट चेयरपर्सन फर्स्ट चेयरपर्सन ऑफ दिस रिजर्व बैंक इनोवेशन हब डोंट कन्फ्यूज विद एनी नेम बिकॉज नाउ देर आर थ्री पोजिशन वन इज द सी ईओ वन इज द फर्स्ट चेयरपर्सन नाउ चीफ टेक्निकल ऑफिसर एंड चंद्रशेखर घोष अगेन अपॉइंटेड एज एम डी एंड सी ईओ ऑफ बंधन बैंक बाय आर बी आई बंधन बैंक बाय आर बी आई अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अपॉइंटमेंट सो ऑल द अपॉइंटमेंट्स आर ओनली रिलेटेड टू बैंकिंग सेक्टर सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इफ यू आर अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ बैंकिंग सो मूव इन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच कंट्री सक्सेसफुली लॉन्च इट्स अनमैंड कार्गो एयरक्राफ्ट नेम्ड एज तायन जो थ्री सो यू हैव टू जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस नेम तायन जो थ्री एंड दिस बिलोंग्स टू चाइना सो आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज बी सो चाइना हैज सक्सेसफुली लॉन्च इट्स थर्ड अनमैंड थर्ड अनमैंड कार्गो एयरक्राफ्ट नेम्ड एज तायन जो थ्री और इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज हेवनली वेसल ऑल्सो नोन एज हेवनली वेसल एंड हेवनली वेसल इज बेसिकली इट इज नोन इन चाइनीज so you can also see here china launches tian zhao 3 cargo ship to new space station because uh, this uh, you can say unmanned uh, unmanned cargo vehicle or can unmanned cargo aircraft will deliver uh, services and fuel supply to the under construction space station of china what is the name of this uh, space station of china it is tian gong very famous t i a n tian gong this is the new space station of china it will be established in 2022 it means all the construction will be completed in 2022 so uh, you can also remember and with this completion uh, china will become the first country to own a space station earlier there is only one space station which is known as international space station which was constructed by three countries like united states russia and the japan but now this is the only space station which belongs to only one country this is known as tian gong it will be completed in 2022 so remember it belongs to china and name of the space station tian gong and name of this unmanned cargo aircraft it is tian zhao 3 what is the function of this tian zhao 3 uh, it will deliver services and fuel supply to the under construction space station of china move into next question who become india's 70th chess grandmaster again very important question and uh, answer of this question is raja rithvik so he is currently the 70th grandmaster of india so grandmaster means chess grandmaster so answer of this question is a you can also see here the picture of raja rithvik becomes the india 70th grandmaster and uh, uh, he is uh, just uh, 17 year old remember he is just 17 year old and he belongs to which state he belongs to telangana he belongs to telangana and uh, he recently won very famous tournament of the chess you can see here uh, this is wazir capzo grand master chess tournament which was held in hungary or you can say budapest you examiner can directly ask that this tournament was won by which player so you can remember this was won by raja rithvik and raja rithvik belongs to telangana and you can also remember the other options like you can see harshit raja harshit raja belongs to pune and uh, uh, he was the 69th grand master of india 69th grand master of india next arjun kalyan uh, from tamil nadu he was the 68th grand master of india 68th so 68th 69th and 70th you can remember all these three names but this is the most important name abhimanyu mishra uh, indian american chess player and he was the youngest ever chess grand master youngest ever chess grand master youngest this is question is most important so moving to next question who won asian snooker championship 2021 earlier this player also won the uh, asian snooker championship in 2019 now this is in 2021 and answer of this question you can see this picture very important player of india in the billiards or you can say in the snooker and this is pankaj jadwani so you can see here very important player indian snooker player and he won padam awardi because he won the padam shri and also the padam bhushan pankaj jadwani won this asian snooker championship which was held in which country it was held in doha it means in qatar examiner can ask the exact location doha or country is qatar so uh, the 23rd time 23rd time uh, billiards and the snooker world champion pankaj jadwani has won this title for the second consecutive year and he won this title in 2019 earlier i already told you this and uh, pankaj jadwani has been honored with the arjun award uh, he received arjun award in 2004 also re uh, received rajiv gandhi khel ratan award in 2006 
Padam Shri Award in 2009 and uh, Padam Bhushan in 2018. 2018 when Mahinder Singh Dhoni also won the Padam Bhushan, he also won the Padam Bhushan in 2018. So remember Pankaj Advani. Moving to next question, which state or union territory has launched India's first mobile music classroom and recording studio named Music Bus? Again, very important question and this is launched by uh, uh, Delhi Deputy Chief Minister and Education Minister Manish Sisodia ji. So it means I am talking about Delhi. Answer of this question is B. So uh, you can see here the name of this, uh, uh, you can say music classroom, mobile music classroom and recording studio is Music Bus. You have to remember this keyword, Music Bus. And it is expected to benefit more than 5,000 students studying in the government run schools because the bus will be used to share digital educational music videos on issues related to social emotional health and the well-being. So it is funded by State Bank of India under the corporate social responsibility. State Bank of India card under the corporate social responsibility. And the concept was introduced by one group which is known as Manzil Mystics. Manzil Mystics, a group of children studying in the Delhi government schools. So you can remember this will definitely benefit more than 5000 students studying in the government run schools and the bus will be used to share digital educational music videos on issues related to social, educational, health and well-being. So this is the unit territory of Delhi. Remember this keyword music bus. Moving to next question, which bank collaborated with the Paypoint India to provide banking services through business correspondent model? Again, very important question and we are talking about very important bank and this is Bank of Broda. Answer of this question is A. So Bank of Broda collaborated with the Paypoint India under which the financial service provider will provide banking services through the business correspondent model. It means Bank of Broda will use Paypoint service points or you can say Paypoint service centers to provide banking services of the Bank of Broda. So you can see here Paypoint India partnered with Bank of Broda to widen reach of the banking services. So this will enable Bank of Broda to expand its customer network and geographical spread by utilizing Paypoint customer service points or CSPs. So uh, you can also remember this partnership is a part of Bank of Broda's new initiative which is known as BOB, Bank of Broda NOW. NOW stands for New Operating Model and Way of Working. So uh, it aims to push financial inclusion by expanding customer touch points through digital formats or the banking correspondent network. In simple word, you can say that Paypoint India will offer several services and open saving account under the Pradhan Mantri Jandan Jojana accounts and provide withdrawal, deposit and money transfer through the, uh, you can say this uh, customer service points of Bank of Broda. So all the services will be provided through this customer service points through this uh, business correspondent model. So Bank of Broda can reach so many people and Paypoint also can reach so many people. So remember about Paypoint India, Paypoint India headquarters is in Mumbai, in Mumbai and uh, recent related news you have to also remember Bank of Broda and Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited launched international co-branded rupee debit card. So there is currently trend of co-branded rupee debit card. So this is recently launched by Bank of Broda with the help of the Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited and they jointly launched this personalized co-branded rupee card. Uh, and it is a platinum international contactless debit card. You just remember Bank of Broda tied up with the Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited. And you can also remember about Bank of Broda. Bank of Broda was, uh, uh, you can say headquarter is in Vadodara and uh, uh, recently Dena Bank and also the Vijay Bank was merged under the Bank of Broda and its managing director is Sanjeev Chadda. Sanjeev Chadda. Moving to next question. Trifid signed an MOU with which e-grocery platform for the promotion and sale of the natural Vandan products so that the tribal income can be increased and their livelihood can be enhanced. And this is Big Basket and also the uh, Purti Agrotech. It is a Jharkhand based firm. It is a Jharkhand based organization. So answer of this question is both B and C. D is the answer. So Trifid which is known as Tribal Cooperative Marketing Development Federation of India uh, uh, made a memorandum of understanding with e-grocery platform. One is the big basket. Second is uh, you can say Purti Agrotech of Jharkhand for the promotion of and the sale of the natural Vandan products. And you can also see here Trifed is also collaborating with the Purti Agrotech of Jharkhand for developing the pearl cultivation, especially for the Purti Agrotech for pearl cultivation. And it is to promote the art of growing pearls among the tribal entrepreneurs and tap the potential of the market, especially to increase the livelihood and to increase the income of the tribal community. It is an agreement for the promotion and sale of the natural Vandan products through the big basket chain. 
and also it will promote tribal entrepreneurship enhancing inclusive and balanced development of the tribals on a whole so in simple word you can say uh, it is just to increase the income of the tribal products because they are unique in nature and you can also remember about trifed trifed was established in 1987 1987 it comes under the ministry of tribal affairs and who is union minister arjun munda arjun munda ji uh, his constituency is khunti khunti is in jharkhand and uh, who is the chairman of trifed trifed chairman is praveer krishna you can also remember this and big basket was established in 2011 brand ambassador is shahrukh khan and uh, parent organization is tata digital tata digital moving to next question which bank has joined hand with visa to offer a suit of credit cards to its customers earlier this bank tied up with the mastercard but now rbi put restrictions on the mastercard to issue debit card and the credit card so that's why this bank joined hand with the visa to offer a suit of credit cards to its customer just remember this question only from this slide and answer of this question is yes bank c is the answer so yes bank has joined hands with the visa to offer a suit of credit card to its customer it consists of nine credit cards variants on the visa platform covering all segments like uh, consumer cards business cards corporate cards and so many uh, type of cards for the every type of segment and remember about yes bank its director uh, managing director and ceo is prashant kumar its headquarters is in Mumbai and tagline is experience our expertise, experience our expertise. So you can also see here it is a co-branded cards for featured with the loyalty programs with the unexpired reward points and Yes Bank is also set to issue Rupe branded credit cards, Rupe branded credit cards as the technology integration with the National Payment Corporation of India is about to complete. So Yes Bank tied up with the visa also for issuing credit card and also with the Rupe so that they can issue the credit cards. And uh, if they want to tie up with the rupee, they have to agree, they have to tie up with the NPCI, National Payment Corporation of India, which was established in 2008. Its head is Dilip Asbe. Dilip Asbe. Moving to next question. India Post Payment Bank partner with which company for the distribution of non-life insurance products across India? It means India Post Payment Bank will sell uh, the products of this life insurance or the general insurance company. And name of this general insurance company is... Tata AIG General Insurance and Bajaj Alliance General Insurance. So answer of this question is both A and C. D is the answer. So you can see here, India Post Payment Bank in strategic alliance with the Tata AIG and Bajaj Alliance for non-life insurance products. And under this partnership, this India Post Payment Bank will distribute affordable insurance products of the customers through its 650 branches and 1,36,000 banking access points. It means India Post Payment Bank will sell these non-life insurance products through their branches and through their banking access points. So the main objective is to address the protection needs of the unbanked and the underserved customers. So around 2 lakh, 2 lakh postal services providers or the you can say Grameen Dark Sevak or the postman who are equipped with the micro ATMs and the biometric devices will play a major role in distributing and promoting the insurance product. So this is India Post Payment Bank who will sell the non-life uh, insurance products of the Tata AIG and Bajaj Alliance General Insurance to the customer. So this is the main thing. And remember about India Post Payment Bank, very important. It was established in 2008 under the Department of Post, Ministry of Communication. MD and CO is J. Venkta Ramu. J. Venkta Ramu. And uh, its tagline is Aapka, Aapka Bank, Aapka Bank, Aapke Dwar. Aapke Dwar. So remember this. Moving to next question, who attended 15th East Asia Summit Energy Ministers meeting from Indian side? So the most important keyword here is the East Asia Summit. So this is the 15th meeting of Energy Ministers meeting and answer of this question is very simple. It is Krishan Pal Gujar. Krishan Pal Gujar who is currently the Minister of State in the Power Ministry. In the Power Ministry. So you can see here the theme is we care, we prepare and we prosper. And the meeting aimed at coordinating efforts of the ASEAN countries because all the ASEAN countries are the member of East Asia Summit and uh, uh, the meeting aimed at coordinating efforts of the ASEAN countries in pursuing the goal of energy security, energy transition to benefit the people of the region. And India provided a brief status of the Indian energy transition plans, policies, challenges and efforts toward the decarbonization that how we can achieve 175 gigawatt of clean energy by the year of 2022 and 450 gigawatt of clean energy by the year of 2030. And India confirmed that ASEAN is a region of great importance. Engagement with ASEAN has been 
and will remain a critical element of India's Act East policy and the strategy because maximum trade lies with ASEAN and total member countries of ASEAN are 10. And you can also remember that uh, Commerce and Industry Minister attends 9th, 9th East Asia Summit of Economic Ministers Meet. So uh, from Indian side, it is Minister of State for Commerce and Industry, Anupriya Patelji, who attended this meeting. And India is willing to collaborate with the East Asian partners in production of generic drugs and medical technology used for the treatment of COVID-19 patient as also in the area of the vaccine production. But you have to remember the most important thing under this question, this is the East Asia. East Asia Summit has 18 members, total 18 members. All the 10 members of ASEAN, all the 10 members of ASEAN, Plus, you can say uh, it is Australia is there, China, India, Japan, New Zealand, Republic of Korea, it means South Korea, Russia and United States of America. These eight countries are extra added with the ASEAN, so it will become the East Asia Summit. And you can also remember about ASEAN because all the ASEAN countries are member, main group is ASEAN. So ASEAN, uh, you can say... Uh, was established in 1967 total member countries are 10 total member countries are 10 ASEAN motto is one vision one identity and one community and remember 8th of every August is 8th of every August is celebrated as ASEAN day so headquarters in Jakarta headquarters in Jakarta moving to next section it is our important question section you have to like this video share this video and subscribe this channel and please join our telegram group for the official notifications from the description box link here is the question Director General of Civil Aviation and who signed an agreement to work on safety and environmental protection standard. So answer of this question is European Aviation Safety Agency. Answer of this question is A and its headquarters is in Germany. Exact place is Klon. Klon and it is European Aviation Safety Agency. So the main objective is to promote cooperation understanding to each other's regulatory system. It will also promote an exchange of aeronautical products, services and personnel because we are talking about civil aviation here. It will provide India an opportunity to become a center for designing and manufacturing aircrafts and engine. So this is the, uh, uh, this is specially focused on the self-reliant India. So remember this and uh, both the organization uh, will set common safety and environmental protection standards. So remember it is for the civil aviation and it is European Aviation Safety Agency and it belongs to Germany. So you can also see a DGCA and EASA partner for the safety environment protection standards especially in the aeronautical industry. So now next is the International Day of Peace 2021. It is basically celebrated every year on the day of 21st of September. So it is to strengthen the idea of peace both within and among all nations and people by observing 24 hours of non-violence and the ceasefire. 24 hours for the non-violence and ceasefire. And the main theme is recovering better for an equitable and sustainable world. Recovering better for an equitable and sustainable world. And 2021 theme focuses on the efforts of the United Nations on recovering better for more equitable and the peaceful world. So remember International Day of Peace, it is 21st of September. Now we are moving to the one-liner points. Here is the first point. Uh, Indian pay post payment bank partner with already we covered this question. Next is NIPL. NIPL stands for National Payment Corporation of India International Payment Limited. Partner with Liquid Group to power UPI QR acceptance in the 10 Asian market. This is very important because this NPCA International Payment Limited which is an international arm of the National Payment Corporation Bank has uh, partnered with the Liquid Group partner with the liquid group to enable unified payment interface qr based payment acceptance in the 10 markets across the north asia as well as the southeast asia these countries are like thailand philippines vietnam cambodia hong kong taiwan south korea and japan so uh, we can also do the transactions in these countries through the upi medium and this will be provided through liquid group so remember liquid group world alzheimer day 2021 is observed on 21st of september so uh, this will create awareness about the Alzheimer and the dementia. Alzheimer is the most common form of the dementia that affects the memory and the thinking and the behavior. And uh, September month is also observed as the World Alzheimer month. And World Alzheimer month is annually observed during the month of September to create aware awareness and challenge the stigma around dementia. And uh, remember, uh, the date is 21st of September. Next, Competition Commission of India approved the uh, proposed acquisition of 10.40% stake in the 
जी पी एल जी पी एल स्टैंड फॉर गंगा गंगावरम पोर्ट गंगावरम पोर्ट लिमिटेड बाई अदानी पोर्ट्स एंड द स्पेशल इकोनॉमिक जोन विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ए पी एस ई जेड अदानी पोर्ट्स एंड स्पेशल इकोनॉमिक जोन एंड विद दिस एक्जिशन दिस गंगावरम गंगावरम पोर्ट विच इज इन आंध्र प्रदेश बिकम्स द फुली ओन्ड सब्सिडरी फुली ओन सब्सिडरी ऑफ दिस अदानी पोर्ट लिमिटेड सो यू कैन रिमेंबर नाउ गंगावरम पोर्ट फुली ओन्ड बाय दिस अदानी पोर्ट्स एंड रिमेंबर द हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ अदानी पोर्ट्स एंड द स्पेशल इकोनॉमिक जोन लिमिटेड इज इन गुजरात अहमदाबाद एंड सीओ इज करण अदानी नेक्स्ट इज द बुलगेरियन प्रेजिडेंट री अपॉइंटेड स्टेफन जेवन एज द केयर टेकअप प्राइम मिनिस्टर सो अर्लियर द प्राइम मिनिस्टर वॉज बॉयको बॉयको बट यू डोंट हैव टू रिमेंबर द फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर यू हैव टू जस्ट रिमेंबर हु इज करंटली द केयर टेकअप प्राइम मिनिस्टर इट इज स्टीफन जेनेव स्टीफन जेनेव एंड वट इज द नेम ऑफ बुलगेरियन प्रेजिडेंट इट इज रूमेन रेदेव रूमेन Radev, very important name. Roman Radev, and uh, capital is Sofia. Bulgaria's capital is Sofia. Currency is Bulgarian lev. Next is India chairs the sixth BRICS, BRICS Young Scientist Forum, and BRICS Tech Authorities Virtual Meet. So uh, by default, it will be chaired by India because 2021 chairmanship lies with India. And India recently chaired the 13th BRICS Summit with the theme of BRICS at the rate 15, BRICS Cooperation for Continuity, for Consolidation, and for Consensus. and government of india revenue secretary tarun bajaj presided over this meeting which is known as brics tech authorities virtual meet and uh, this uh, young scientist uh, forum it is uh, addressed by sanjay bhattacharya sanjay bhattacharya who is the sherpa of the brics now we are moving to the question 21st of september 2021 question was which is the first bank to introduce saving account in india so all the students who gave the answer all are right answer of this question is presidency bank and they started this uh, saving account system in india in 19 sorry 1833 so remember this now we are moving to the question of the day it is similar type of question but we are now talking about internet banking which is the first bank to introduce internet banking so uh, please read this options carefully and answer me in the comment box i am waiting your answer like this video share this video as maximum as possible and please subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform and press this bell button and join our telegram channel for the official notification it is affairs cloud promise that it will boost your confidence in the general awareness section definitely and don't take life so much serious life is fun always be happy like this smiley thank you guys take care and bye bye